good filly out of the uh, Darcy Brahma mare darting. So you see probably a couple of different types of horses here today. So um, you'll notice the, the New Zealand horses um, to the Aussie horses, they, they all just probably a bit smaller, a bit finer. Um, they do take a little bit more time to mature. So some, in some of them, you've got to use your imagination uh, of where they're going to sort of end up in 12, 18 months. Um, and that's what we're going to do when we go to a yearling sale. We don't like to buy them too forward where, um, you know, you put a saddle on them and then within 12 months they're sort of finished. So she's one of those. She's by Redwood, which is a high chaparral stallion in, in uh, New Zealand, um, going extremely well. So she's going to get over a bit of ground out of a Darcy Brahma mare, which puts a little bit of speed into the family. She's quite backward. She's got a nice walk on her. Uh, quite a big filly and quite long as well and she's quite light on her feet so um yeah, she's, she's a, a horse that's going to take a, a bit of time um and hence that's sort of the the prices uh range she wasn't an expensive filly but she will take a little bit longer to get there and uh and you can see just that little bit of quality in her in her head there she's got a cracking cracking head and a good length to her yeah, Redwood was competitive uh, all around the world in his, uh, his uh, racing career, Simon, over a mile and a half. So you're looking at this girl perhaps as a 1,600 to 2,400 metre top? Yeah, definitely. We just had that Darcy Brahma in it just to put a bit of sprint in it. We've got a, a Hayden Rouge, a filly that uh, is by Redwood. She's running next week and she's getting up over 2,000 and uh, really starting to learn what it's about. And uh, she's, she's going to be pretty hard to beat on Tuesday. Yearlings a lot differently to the Magic Millions and, and English tops. Yeah, definitely. They don't overfeed them. Uh, they keep them quite natural. Uh, just sort of leave them in the paddocks and and just let them grow sort of naturally. But the Aussie guys uh, tend to feed them up a bit more and have them a bit bulkier. And they're a different type of horse, just to, as as well.